gonna be a bitch. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we're gonna see what I got. We're gonna see what we can do. See none of my ex factors.
Here's Martin now following the score as he'll send this one away. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A single for one and taken. Jaguars first down as he gets it up past the 35. That's a great throw right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. They usually know it's quicker than fast. In this case, we got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big play that time through the air. 30 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And it will be intercepted. Picked up by Jair Alexander. And the Chargers are going to take over. Charger drive about to get going. And they'll be looking to duplicate the effort to drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate as they would say when you're running the big time races. It means they got to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. Well, if you have man coverage on the outside and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there. They could have saved completion. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Middle of the field, he's got the ball. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. They get seven there, but it brings up four. Fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. He only played twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. This will be taken at the 10. 51 yards on the punt there. And the Jaguars go on offense. First down and 10. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get them down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once it threw the interception and finished off the drive, it does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, get one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And he'll get it up near the 35, right? The 34 here. Now, look, that wasn't a huge game, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going all around. Did you get the same feeling that I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch that? Absolutely. You know, like, hey, well, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that. Right? And on a 42 yard line here and brought down there. Defensively, you're your best on top of our team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you got to find a way to hold them over 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your best, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Are you ready? Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. Two first downs have him up near midfield now. On first and ten. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. It's a six yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now, well, this defense for the Chargers, they were terrific last week in the win over Denver. And as in any game, takeaways are always 
a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. After one side, nothing on the A Sports. This year, my team, my team ain't playing good at all. But how you know me? I went 15 and one when we had no ability. I don't really mind, but I just like a heads up. Yeah, I'm 
Nah, for sure. I, I thought it was when I, I thought it was when I threw it. I seen, I seen he stop. I like, oh yeah, he, he done glitched up over there. Yeah, just swat it, just, just, just to be safe, huh? You know how mad and be. I gotta punt it anyways. Nah, that's ugly. thrown in the Are red zone last time. Let's see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the fact that it crosses by and it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Hill. Yeah, I hate when I do that, especially end of the half like that. He called for it too late, and when he delivered, Hello? they were all over him in the secondary and came up with the interception. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. No, I was nervous when I threw that one. I ain't gonna lie to you. For them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They look to throw here on first down. Flush 
to his right. And a flag comes in as Hedlund falls in completely. Now they cut it on me. Let's see who this is on. So he was passing on his yeah, That's tough. I wanted to throw it, but Jair already made me pay one time. I didn't want to try him again. I didn't want to try Jair ass again. Nope, they're not showing up for me either. They said, I talked, I, I messaged the commissioners and they said somebody turned it off or something like that. I'm like, damn, y'all should have let us know. They was like, they weren't trying to or whatever. But both of us playing without X Factors and I'm like, damn. Flushed out right. He stepped out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds. I knew it too. <laughs> it's so lame. Stay in bounds, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> He just back there with no awareness.
The Jaguars have possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more. Mr. Wilson didn't really come out for it. They didn't get it moving the way that they put the line. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys are lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you've got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this set off. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies. Yeah, nah, that's the that's the momentum. When you had scored early, I couldn't see the ball. That's that one you see where they got their hands up. You can't see the ball. That one, I hate that one. That's my least favorite one. Cause it's like, damn, you you can just throw it in the area. You as a defense, you gonna just be running. You don't know where that shit at. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be frustrating me like that too, bro. I already know. That's why I ain't even saying that, bro. I already know, cause I'll be having my moment just like that. And you can't see the ball. Three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. Dancing to his left. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. And a movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the charge alignment. Not a great start to this drive. Yeah, the sack, now the full start. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. They run. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. They get five yards on the run there. Still left staring at a third and about 14. Running lanes run a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there. He's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. You didn't go? Play action now. Here's Mayfield. So you knew something was not? And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And 
and he goes down. Oh, so Diggy Zawa able to get him down for a loss of 11, and it brings up fourth down. I know I'm not a mom, but just to know, she didn't invite you, but why Kenya... Here's Sam Martin now, as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to put it away. I've been a good friend, and I just feel like she did a flip. I invited the lady to come to the And take it right at the 35. A well hit ball there, 50 yards on the punt, three on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they opened up this big lead. You now we always talk about getting into the zone and all out <coughs> taking that hard thing. Everything is working for them. Every move they make works. It clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. Now this throw caught left side and all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. And while we may be looking at the score, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down. Even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter, I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. This says a lot about the yards and first down completion. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. Now again, right side. It's Carson. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Chris Carson with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Lots good on the extra point. And it'll increase their lead to 28. I feel like sometimes the Chargers are like too thin. These are the perfect thickness and the perfect amount of salt. After the touchdown, wants really to kick it off. Everything just happened to me. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And only able to get this to the right team, so probably should have opted for the touchback. struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you go to the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side, because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Chad Thompson on the tackle that time. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost call. The Chargers on third down, two for five at this point. This is third and seven. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. His hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. Slings this deep from the corner. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Have we arrived, driver? Running right. It's a handoff to Gordon. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. A lot 
loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. As you said earlier, this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. Touchdown, Jaguars! His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jaguars look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Looks to try to end the PAT. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. I'm doing this because, baby, I want you to know it's all about you. Spending money, running up a check. After the touchdown, lots to kick it off. And I want you to forget you, okay? You're that bitch. He will return this from deep in the end zone. The Charger drive about to get going. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charger. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. 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 I'm going to go also show confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Break it down at the 49. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They don't work it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Breaks the tackle. He's got on the run. And he goes down, but not before he goes inside the 25. Extra point attempt to follow here. 
I got, I got a, uh, I got a little dev, I got a little dev game I'm trying to work on real quick. I, I ain't gonna run the clock out on you though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna air it out still. I'll let you get another one in there.
looks like he'll throw here. Eluding the pressure right. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown. And the blowout continues. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. And yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Lux with the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. After the touchdown, Lux to kick it off. And this is going to be the turn from the middle of the end zone. And not a good return here at all. It's only forced to start at the 12-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They're not trying to put points on the board. All the guys are going to be like, you can't have those you can make head. And I got a head. The one thing was clear, and the day, The Charger drive about to get going. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there's a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waiting moments of this one. From the 16, Mayfield escaping the pressure right. His throw incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like in the post-game press conference, this team's got a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the gun, Mayfield. Flush to his right. And that is incomplete. Well, I kind of got to give him credit. Another incompletion there, yes, but he's still trying to make plays outside the pocket. Yeah, he's been hemmed in for much of the game. How about getting outside there? And that's what you want to see from your quarterback. He's not giving up on this game, so every other player on the field has to say to himself, I can't give up either. Fourth down, Mayfield. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And he will bring it back to the four-yard line. The utter domination here just continues. This defense, I don't know what more we can say all around about their performance. It certainly feels in this game like maybe they're facing the Canadian defense. 12 guys on the field. It feels like there's an extra on every snap because they have really struggled to make headway through the air. Now back to throw. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. So Darius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. What were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves. <laughs> And they want to claim they want to be such best friends. Like, you know, you can't see. You want to have to be a hard candy, how to help other people. See for herself. For herself. First of all, candy was a damn post. Everybody's just like, that bitch was a whole ass. That's what I did. That's why I was like, I don't want to be a bad guy. That's why I was like, 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 that's why I was I can do what I want to. Yeah, it's really sad because it was a flow, but we started from the gutter. Shut up, 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 shut up,
I ain't going out like no chef. Five minutes, right? 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 Five minut